guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here then welcome my name's Chloe so today's video is going to be a shopping haul video yes another one I have no self-control um take away my bank card because I have spent so much um this shopping haul is going to feature Primark, Bershka, Stradivarius, New Look, H&M um and a bit more um it's been my birthday month I've had birthday money to spend and um I really spent it um so yeah stay tuned to see um what I got in my little shopping haul if you would like to see more of me you can find me on tiktok twitter and instagram under the same handles as my youtube which is chloe kh with two e's but i will put that in the description box below for you as well as all of the makeup products that i've used on my face um i have filmed a video on this makeup look here so it's like a cool like clean girl sort of makeup with some bits that i got for my birthday so this will either be up before or after this shopping haul video but i have filmed this for you but yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoy watching this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Okay, so to start off, um, I'll just do some like little bits. Um, it was obviously my birthday last week and I got an email from the body shop to say that I had £5 off. Now I've seen on some like TikToks and things that people go in and they just buy like a little hand cream for £5. They only have to was it £5.50, £6, something like that, so then you have to spend like a little bit, um, but I already have lots of hand creams from Body Shop and I really wanted to get a body scrub, so I picked up this one and it goes perfectly with the um, strawberry body uh, butter that I got off one of my work colleagues for my birthday, this is the strawberry shower scrub, um, I really needed to have like a quick and easy um, like squirty shower scrub, because I do have ones in the big pots that I use when I'm in the bath, and it's just a bit of a fiddle to kind of do that whereas when I want a quick shower I can just kind of squirt this out and then use my you know either my body shop shower gels or my snow fairy shower gel um this big guy here I think only ended up costing me about nine pounds with the five pound off so um yeah I picked up um this guy here really really happy um I've used it on my skin today my skin just feels really fruity and really soft and exfoliated so yeah picked up this one and then um, I am a twin, so it was my sister's birthday as well, um, and it was of course Jake's birthday on the 21st of April as well. Um, so I've had quite a busy spenny month, um, and I picked up some skincare for my sister and some skincare for Jake um, from Look Fantastic, and they gave me a little beauty bag. I ended up giving most of it to either Steph or Jake, um, but I did pick out one thing that I kind of wanted to keep for myself. Um, this is the Christopher Robin Scrub, uh, Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt. So I looked at this and I was like, what's this for? And it's actually um, a soothing detox treatment shampoo. So you put this in your hair, you work it through your scalp, and it kind of, it lathers up quite nicely. It goes quite creamy. Um, and then you obviously wash it out of your hair and then go in with other products. Um, I've used this a couple of times now. And I do think that... Um, you know it's, it's really helped my hair because I get it bleached a lot um and I sometimes find that there's a little bit of build up sometimes my scalp goes quite dry and it's just like really good at like getting all those bits out of my hair like it's so it's not so flaky um so I'm really impressed with this so far um and yeah I was just so happy that I got this this little like makeup bag filled with different products in um because I'd obviously spent so much on my sister and Jake so you know this is my little reward for it and I've uh, really liked this so far Okay, so this isn't like one big shopping haul from like one day. This has been lots of different consecutive days. Um, and I have seen all over like Instagram and TikTok people styling uh, long midi skirts with a split. And I've been looking for one. And then I, I mean, gosh, we don't have much in Hereford in terms of like fashion um, and clothes shopping wise. But I saw this in New Look. Um, this midi skirt here, it's got like the cute little sort of um, wash to the uh, jean and it's got the split um, at the middle. So, you know, you can wear these with like trainers, I've seen people wear these with like boots and things. I was really impressed to see this in New Look. I haven't really shopped in New Look since I left. Um, I used to work for the brand years ago, I think I was there for like eight years. Um, it was my first ever job and I worked my way up to supervisor. 
um, hated the management there. Um, I used to literally cry when I came home because of how vile my manager was. So I knew that I just wanted to leave the company. It just left quite a sour taste in my mouth, so I haven't really shopped there over the years since. Um, but every now and then I just kind of pop my head in to see what they've got. I just feel like New Look have got more and more expensive now, and I don't see why, because, I mean, hopefully the quality is a lot better than what it was when I worked there, because the amount of faulties that we had was ridiculous, um, with, like, poor quality, like, made products. Um, but yeah, I've I've gotten with the skirt so far. I mean, I've worn this a couple of times now, and I do really like the fit of it. I am such an odd size because I have quite big hips and a big bottom, but I have a very small waist. So I need to buy denim that fits over my big behind. Um, but then I do find that I need to wear a belt to kind of cinch the waist in um, a bit more. So with this year, I did have to um, go up a size and I had to get it in a size 10 and I do have to wear it with a belt. So it gives me a bit more shape to my body. Um, and me and my friend has been shopping on, I think it's ASOS and they do an hourglass range or something, which is supposed to be perfect for my type of body. So I will definitely be looking into that. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with this purchase from New Look. This, I think is about 32 $2.99 but I used my blue light card and I got 15% off so I think it was about £27 in the end. All in all not too bad for a really nice you know midi denim skirt really. Okay so um, I went to Cardiff with Paige on uh, Saturday. We haven't really seen each other in a few months, we've both been quite busy, lots of things going on um, but it was really nice to uh, spend the day shopping. And I had a really good shopping day. Um, I mean, I am obsessed with Bershka and Stradivarius and things. I've got quite a few pieces from them already. And it was just so nice to go into store instead of like, you know, when you look online, you get quite bored because you don't know what you're looking for. But in store, it's all laid out for you and you could just try things on. Um, so I'll start off with some Bershka. So I got this top. I mean, I should have... Um, gone shopping and taken this to Italy with me because it says um, I love pizza every day. This was only 9 99 and it's just that really nice sort of lightweight cute little t-shirt that you can wear with like jeans and trainers or you can pair it with like a cute little skirt. Um, I just, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I just sort of wanted to get some more sort of t-shirts really to wear for like spring summer when it's a bit hotter and maybe it's a bit too like windy to wear to get both your arms and legs out so I could just sort of pair this with like jeans and trainers and things um, for like a casual day at work and then oh I'm just obsessed with this this is a really cute um, skirt this was only $15.99 I got this in a medium just so it wasn't too tight and this is just a really nice sort of sleek black skirt. I really like the fabric of this. Um, it's it's not very flimsy. It's got a really nice waistband to it. It's really soft. And I've got a split on the side as well. Um, sort of side of the leg. So it's just a really cute body shaping sort of black um, cotton skirt. That will be really nice to wear. Um, to like work with some sandals or you know for like you know like a cute little like barbecue or something or like drinks in a beer garden so yep I cannot wait to wear this it's tried it on the fittering with that that little um top from Bershka and it was just a cute little like outfit and it just it was so comfortable as well I just wanted to come out of the changing rooms and buy it and just wear it um but yeah obsessed with um that little purchase from Bershka so then of course I went into Stradivarius um, I first actually um, shopped this brand when I was in Tenerife and I picked up quite a few bits from them um, like some jewellery and some cute little tops and I'm just obsessed with um, that this sort of clothes in there and I saw this on the wall and I thought oh my gosh that is just me in skirt form um, Paige said it as well she said it's a very you purchase um, I tried this on, I ended up getting this in a 10 as well, because um, the 8 I thought would have been a, too tight. The 10, it's very gapy at the back, but I, I have bought a belt to wear with it to, again, cinch the waist in. 
but oh my gosh it's a pink denim midi skirt and it's got um, slits at the sides like both sides of the skirt instead of at the front with the new look one so it's slightly different um, it's really really nice quality fabric um, I just love how bright it is um, I cannot wait to wear this this is about 30 I think it's 29.99 um, yeah 29.99 I'm happy to pay that because this is just, oh, I cannot wait to wear this. Um, it is, it's like me in skirt form. It's just so pink and girly and, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to wear it. Okay, so as I said, I do follow quite a few like fashion and beauty, 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 beauty influences. Um, one of them that I follow is Perry Shan. I follow her on TikTok and I just love her videos. Um, and this little um, dress here from H&M was in one of her recent sort of H&M shopping haul styling videos. Um, I haven't really shopped in H&M in ages. Um, I feel like my store is very hit and miss with some um, of the clothing, but I was having a little look for some bits to take to Italy and I saw this dress on her in the video and I just thought oh my god that's so cute I saw it in the store then and I tried it on I just felt really like girly and yeah I picked this up I, I did actually wear this um, on an evening uh, out to dinner I wore my hair in this cute little um, bun and I had a denim jacket on and some sandals and I just felt like this like pretty little ballerina walking around the streets of Rome um, but yeah I was obsessed with this this was only about 17 18 pounds and it's just such a nice like mini um, dress it is very sort of floaty so it does kind of like float outwards um, and the straps are quite long so it does come down to like here um, but I it's something that I would never pick up for myself and I really really like the way that it looked um, so I'm really really happy that I saw her video as I would have walked straight past this in the shop um, so yeah I I'm obsessed with that one and I can't wait to wear that um, when it's a bit warmer in the UK as well so this next dress I'm so excited about I actually um, picked this up in H&M in Rome um, so this was 34 euros and I mean look at this this is a really really chic like sleek white satin um, dress and it's got strawberries all over it. I mean how cute is this gonna be with like some sandals and things oh I'm just obsessed with the way that it falls um, it's slightly higher on the one side um, and it just reminds me of like a Grecian type of you know um dress because it's got that little um what do you call it is it cowl cowl neck to it um where you've got the little drapey bit at the front it's so so flattering it's just gorgeous i think i got this in i got this in a small um i am just oh i love this so much this was hiding in the store as well they put it on a side rack facing towards the wall so you couldn't really see it but I just about saw the shape of it when I was looking around like I mean when I go clothes shopping I literally inspect every inch of the store and you know I found this I tried it on and it is just so so pretty I cannot wait to wear this in warmer weather um I'm just oh I, I can just picture the outfit now you know I've got this cute little like picnic style bag and like a wedge or something which just looks so cute or you can wear it out to dinner with like a little like mule heel oh perfect um but yeah obsessed with this H&M have really stepped up their game and something that I love as well is that I got this in Italy so I don't know if that if we'll see it in the UK I mean I saw that pink dress in Italy so this may come to the UK but it's just nice to know that it might not and I may have sort of the only one in Hereford sort of thing okay so I picked this next item up from H&M with Paige on Saturday um I just every now and then like when she comes over and I see her she's always wearing like a blazer and she looks really cute with whatever she wears with it um, and I see on her pictures and stuff that she she does um, wear them with outfits and I don't actually own one I've seen loads of styling hauls of people sort of wearing them in different colours and I just thought oh I just don't think that they'll suit me um, I did buy one from SLA 
the label um but that was very like high on shoulder pads and very oversized so i think it that just really put me off them but when i saw her i just said look i really want to buy a blazer help me um and i end up ended up getting this one from h&m this was 34 pounds i think yeah 34.99 really really cute i sized up and got a size small instead of an extra small because i can wear it with like hoodies and sweatshirts and things for like casual days and a slightly oversized like baggy fit for like evening and things as well um and i love the sleeves on it as they're like three quarters and they sort of have a ruched effect so it's not a full blazer for me um i really really like the the fit of it i like the shape of it everything about it i mean i would have walked straight past this in the store but Paige said oh why don't you try this one on because I wasn't sure about another one that I'd put on and we just both immediately were like yeah that that's the one but I I'm obsessed and I'm going to be shopping for these a lot more um I know that Paige was after like a stone one I mean I don't know how many colors she's got in her wardrobe but I think this may start off my blazer obsession as well I just can't wait to wear these with different outfits okay so lastly I have got some Primark um funny story so in italy on my last full day my sunglasses broke um so i just wanted to pick up some more i have worn the same style of sunglasses for years um i'm not really a sunglasses person i don't really like think to wear different ones for different outfits sort of thing um i've never really sort of been one to collect them whereas i know a lot of people like to have a different style for different outfits um i've just been very plain jane like i don't really like to wear sunglasses over makeup yeah i was with paige on saturday in primark and i just saw these and these are only a pound they're like um a brown tint to them um and i do really like the aviator style like i had some massive aviators from armani um that were broken um so i tried these on and they are really really cute i mean i do see things in a slightly sepia tone through them but yeah i do really really like them and they do have uv protection so um yeah i think i'll be picking up some more as i do feel like it's not good to have just one style of sunglasses like i do want to get some like chunky ones and see how they look on me um but yeah i'm happy to that i actually have a replacement um for my sunglasses that broke in italy and then oh my gosh i am so excited for this um i have been looking for these for months and months i first saw these on tiktok uh, i think it's like october time and i've been on the hunt for them since in my last haul video i mentioned that i was in birmingham and my little sister picked these up in my local Primark, where I couldn't find them in Birmingham, went to my Primark in Hereford the next day, gone. I was gutted. But, but, I went into my local Primark um, just before my holiday and I saw it. This is the Bobbi Brown dupe. This is the Primark Prep and Perfect um, Vitamin Enriched Moisturising Primer. £4.50 each. I picked up two because I don't know when these are going to be back. Um, I have already used, um, I think I've used this twice and I do really like it. Um, there's definitely a different smell. I mean, the Bobbi Brown one just smells like citrus and oranges and it's so gorgeous. This one, it's almost got like a, it sort of smells like perfume. Not in like a horrible way, but when I smell it, I'm just like, ooh that perfume um when it's on the skin it doesn't irritate my eyes so i don't think it's heavily fragranced um it's a nice texture um and i do quite like the product I, mean, I have only used it a couple of times but um yeah i'm just i'm so happy that i have actually got one of these um i don't really look to primark for denim i do have to admit that i've always been one uh, to shop in outfit and like the top shop for my jeans but um we don't have an outfit anymore and I just sort of I was looking in there for some some bits and I came across these jeans here and um, these are like a mom style jean and they're like a really light denim which I don't really have um pick these up in a tent they do fit really really nicely and I just kind of roll up the bottoms they're just so casual they were marked as 13 pounds when I got to the till they were three pounds three pounds for a pair of jeans um bargain and they're, they're just such a comfy relaxed fit and yeah I've, I've worn these a couple of times now they are really really comfy um so yeah that's 
massive bargain from Primark and I will be shopping um, more denim in the future. Okay so I may have mentioned in my last haul video that um, I missed out on the Ariel PJs. I'd seen them on TikTok um, and I went to the massive Birmingham store and they only had the tops left, they didn't have the bottom so I didn't want to get an incomplete set. They did have some really cute Alice in Wonderland bits but I didn't end up getting anything and it just kind of stayed with me since I really really liked some bottoms. Um, and then of course I went into Primark on Saturday in Cardiff and I saw these and I just picked them up. Um, these are just some PJ bottoms and they've got Alice in Wonderland on um, and it's like when she's falling through the, the rabbit hole. And they've got the flowers um, from, the, uh, from the garden. Um, I love that scene, it's one of my favourite scenes in Alice in Wonderland. So, And I love the colour of these bottoms as well. These were £9. Um, they are really really comfy, really relaxed fit and yeah I just I love them. I didn't see a matching top to them, I only saw the bottoms so I just kind of picked these up. Um, but yeah I'm really really happy that I got to go back and get them. Okay so I'm not sure if I've spoken about these before, I don't know if I got these after my last haul or not and I'm just too lazy to go and look back through my video. But um, I saw these in Primark, these are cute little leather shorts. I have been looking online at like Boohoo and things like that to, to get them and I just kind of kept them in a basket and never checked out and then I saw these in Primark and I just picked them up because I've seen so many little like styling hauls of people wearing leather shorts with tights and boots and different things and yeah I picked these up. I can't really remember how much they were. I mean they were definitely under £20. I think they may have been like... Ooh. How much were they? Definitely under 20. Um, I do really like them. I got these in a size 10. Um, and yeah, they're, they're just really, really nice quality for, for Primark. Um, they do, they're quite soft on the inside as well. Um, the only thing is that I can't really turn them up. Like, you know, people have like turn up the bottoms of them. They are just kind of as they are. Um, and they do come up quite short. I did wear them to work and I thought, oh, these are a bit too short for work. I mean, I'm not patient facing. Um, so they may be something that I just kind of wear outside of work. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy that I, I got my hands on some leather shorts finally. Well, leather look shorts, really. Okay, so I went into Primark after I'd shopped in Bershka and um, Stradivarius. And I knew I wanted to pick up a belt to go with that pink skirt. And I only really have like brown or black and I just thought, mm, black's a bit harsh. Um, so I picked up this clear belt. This is about £5. Um, I picked this up in a small because um, I thought I, I quite like to have a bit more that I can like wrap around and tuck under. Um, so yeah, I just picked up this belt to go with that, um, that pink skirt really to cinch my waist in a bit more. So I also picked up this hat. Um, I picked this up before my holiday and I lived in this in Italy. Um, it was a godsend for me. Um, I just thought it was really cute just to wear my hair in a ponytail, poke it through the back and just have this hat um, to wear in the day as it was just so, so sunny. Um, yeah, it's a cute little C on the front. I think it was like either £2.50 or £3.50, but they do this in black as well that I've seen. Um, I just really, really like this. And I think that I can just wear this like casually as well, um, like with a hoodie or something. Okay, so at the same time that I bought the £3 jeans, um, I picked up this cute little stripy top. This was only £5. I picked this up in a medium so it could be like very loose and relaxed um, and I thought the two of them together would be really cute and it would look really really pink and cute with that pink skirt as well. Um, I really really like how soft the, the fabric is and I mean £5. I mean this is a size sort of um, 12 to 14 but it, I think that this is quite like a, a short fit to it um, as it doesn't feel like a 12 to 14 when I put it on it just feels like a almost like a 10 um, but yeah I I do really really like this um, I think it will be a staple that you can wear with like I don't know like dungarees shorts skirts and um, you can kind of wear this with anything really um, and I just wanted something quite casual for work as well so this skirt here I saw this in like, I think it was like a medium and extra large in Birmingham and they didn't have my size. Um, I'm I'm either um, size small or I can be an extra small. It kind of depends on the fabric. Um, I do have to try quite a lot on. Um, so I was gutted that I couldn't find this, um, but it's at my local Primark. So of course, quite a few people are gonna be wearing it. 
Um, but yeah, I'm just completely obsessed with the print of it. It's so, so nice. Um, it has an underskirt and then it kind of falls down a bit lower with that mesh detail over the top. I'm thinking that I might take this with me to Celtic Manor to wear for dinner. Um, as I've got some shoes that I want to show you as well that will go quite nice with it with like a cute little top. This was, I believe it was £10. Um, yeah, £10. Um, it does have a matching top but for some reason the top wasn't in my Primark I and mean, I thought that they would just come in in a delivery together. So I will be keeping my eye out for the top to wear as a cute little um, two-piece. Otherwise you can just sort of pair it with anything really. You can pick like a, a colour out of here. This has got black, it's got like purple, pink, um, like deserty shades in here. So you could really pick a colour out of here and kind of, you know, run with it. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. So lastly from Primark, um, I think it was in my last haul or the haul before, I spoke about quite a few products that I had to return because they didn't really fit me. One of them was this skirt here. I picked this up in a small and it was a bit too baggy for me around the waist um, as it's very, it's like kind of like a drawstring, a very relaxed fit. Um, so yeah, I had to take it back but then I saw this uh, in Cardiff on Saturday and I knew that I would be an extra small in it so I just picked it up. It's only £8, I just thought this would be so easy to chuck on for work um, or to wear at like a family barbecue or something, it's just like the perfect little jersey midi skirt um so yeah i'm just so so happy that i picked this up as i was gutted that i went for the size small um and didn't pick up another size in it um so yeah really really happy with everything there okay so this next purchase here i did purchase this for my holiday i did have every intention of wearing these shoes in italy then I got there and saw how cobbly and uneven and just shit the pavements are um, and I just thought I will break my ankles if I wear these out because I mean we walked everywhere um, I think the furthest that we walked was about 40 minutes um, to go and get food but mostly we were only about 20 minutes away from Trevi and we didn't want to keep getting taxis so we just kind of walked everywhere so I wore trainers in the day and I wore flat sandals in the evening gutted that I couldn't wear these because how gorgeous are these? I got these from ASOS, I think they're around £30. They are just, oh, they are just so, so nice. Look how chic these are. So I think that I'll wear these to Celtic Manor with possibly that um, skirt. But yeah, can you imagine me walking around in these on the cobbly streets of Italy? No, Jake would have friggin' murdered me if I took these, and, well, I did take them, but if I had worn them. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm obsessed with these. I mean, I saw Perry Shan wear these in a video and she just wears them so cute with like dresses and like midi skirts and things. So I just thought, well, I need to get them. They're just gonna be like a staple shoe within my wardrobe. Um, and yeah, I, I can't wait to style those with outfits and to wear them properly. Okay guys, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I feel like I've shown you a lot of things. Um, but I just wanted to show you one more thing that I picked up. This is the Pandora Jewelry Care Kit. Um, I haven't worn my Pandora bracelet in ages. Um, and I, I just, I don't know, I went to pull it out and it just looked so dark. And like, th the colour of it was just not right. Um and I've, I've seen loads of videos of people cleaning with like baking soda and things but I mean my Disney bracelet is so expensive I've got so many charms on there that you can't get anymore that I thought I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and get the Pandora kit which is like 15 pounds but um it comes with the little pot full of the solution that you take all the charms off and the bracelet and stuff and you dip everything in there I mean I did it with my Pandora earrings and um, rings as well to give them a clean. It comes with a two-sided cloth that you use to really sort of um, buff and shine and you know just get to where the, the sterling silver needs to be really um, and it comes with a little brush as well you can kind of like really get into um, the little cogs and things you know all the little hard to reach places um, so yeah I I will show you my my bracelet I did do a little TikTok of me cleaning it and it actually went really well I think I got like 4,000 views it's on so far and like over 200 likes so I'm really really happy with that I mean it's such a good bracelet it's it's for a Disney lover you've got all of the princess dresses on there I mean I've got a lot of Beauty and the Beast as well I've got um Mrs Potts and Chip um I've got 
got um, Lumiere and Cogsworth here. I've got the Apple to go with Snow White. I've got a little Mishu on there uh, from Jake. Um, I've got Cinderella and her little carriage. I've got Anna, Elsa and Olaf in the middle. And of course I've got um, other princess dresses as well. Like I've got Jasmine, Aurora, I've got Rapunzel, I've got Ariel's green dress here. Um, yeah, I'm just obsessed with this bracelet. I can't wait to get more bits. Um, I haven't really liked any of the recent collections. They've done like loads of Marvel, which I don't want on here. I just want it to be very Disney princess. I don't really want any Minnie or Mickey on there either. Um, I know, you know, loads of people are just so into Minnie and Mickey, but I just love the Disney princesses. So as you can see, I've got just a little bit of room here. So I'm really thinking about what I can put on here to finish the bracelet. But yes, this is the bracelet that's recently cleaned and it's nice and shiny again. Hey guys, so that was the end of my massive shopping haul video. Uh, I really hope that you have enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!